Welcome back everybody to American Truck Simulator. Well, this is a truck we're going to review. Another international. This is the ProStar uh, Duty Day Cabin, if you could tell right up here in this corner. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut build one and see what we can do. This apparently doesn't have that many options because it's only a day cab. Uh, chassis, 150 gallon. Okay. I'm noticing right away that there might be some texture issues. We'll see here when we get the paint. Uh, Engine-wise, not a whole lot of options. We'll go with the ISX-15, because that is the most powerful engine you can get. 18 speed with retarder. Let's go in here to interior. And, oh, okay. This looks nice. This looks nice. This is an international. The That does not look very good, but okay. I can, I can forget, okay, whoa, 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 if you're going to do a day cab, you do not, unless that is an option somehow, to add this on, you don't do this, so we're going to be finding out real quick if that is an add-on, uh, we're going to do paint first, well, actually, no, accessories, if that's not an option, I'm not going to be a very happy person. Okay. <laughs> oh, you do not know how annoyed I am now. I am now. You guys have no clue how annoyed I am right now. All right. Let's go ahead and do, put a color on this. Hey, you can put custom metallics on that. Look at that. Actually, you know what? We're not doing that we are gonna do yeah, you know we'll put a fucking custom metallic on this so what oh no no we just lost the blue there there you go there we go <laughs> there we go we got it back okay all right. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to lie. I am now extremely annoyed at the fact, at that fact. Uh, but I'm willing to give it a chance. Uh, you can see I have have some more. I also downloaded another truck. You know what? We're going to keep the stock wheels. And we'll go ahead and go with Goodyear's all around. Because we can. Okay, with the paint job, this thing looks actually rather nice. Uh, no option really back here. That's fine. That is missing colors. So, what's this? No, no, no. I'm sorry, guys. That is really going to piss me off. That is really going to piss me off. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give this truck a shot. I'm going to be fair. I Just because of the in, this issue, I do not really want to take this out on the road. I really don't. You don't know how bad I don't. But I have to give the truck a fair shot on the road. I have to do a thorough review. That is how I am. Unless the truck doesn't have sounds, then I, I'm just going to do like I did in the previous video. So, Exterior-wise, this is a nice-looking truck. I don't like the shifters all the way up there. This It's kind of telling me that there were other trucks that kind of made this one. And I think that's a little cheap. And I think it's a little lazy. But we will see. Actually, and look at that. There's a collision right there as well. All right. Anyway, we're going to go ahead, uh, check this truck out, get it on the road, and we'll see if uh, <clears throat> it gets better or if it gets any worse. All righty, guys. I've already driven this thing across the street, and I already have pretty much an Id a little bit of an idea on this truck. Interior-wise, it's not bad. All right? Th the gauges are nice and easy to read. Not much of anything really works except for the 
parking brake there, as well as, uh, I can't, ah, come on, the switch there for the, uh, lights, I cannot find a switch for the, uh, wipers, otherwise I'm sure those would be working, this truck I think just came out, so, I am harsh on it, but at the same time, I'm going to be harsh. <laughs> I'm not going to be as harsh as I was just on the 9900 in the previous episode. Somebody, a couple people actually messaged me. It's like, well, the sounds work on this and this. I'm like, I don't give a damn. It, they did not work for me. That is what... I don't care if it was a bad, the wrong engine. If the engine doesn't have sound, it should not... Then don't have that engine in the truck. Sorry, it's as simple as that. It could be the update broke it. It was an older mod, and all the engines did work, and now only limited ones work. That's fine. But if it was a, like that from the get-go, which I don't know, then there we go. Uh, speedometer is grossly inaccurate. As you can see, I'm indicating 10. I'm doing 15. I do like the turn signal sound. The only indicator I believe we have is that turn signal that you see. Because I just turned my hazard lights on. That's my uh, right blinker. So, Oh, well. Right, move on over. I mean, this is not a bad truck, okay? Don't get me wrong. This truck needs a hell of a lot of work. It is very annoying to me. There are a bunch of annoyances. At least it has sound. Yes, I, it, it, the, it's the ISX-15, which is like the... So it's a canned sound. That's fine. It has sound. So I'm actually okay with it. Have using canned sounds if the sound works. The sound works. So, so what zippity doo dah? So fucking what? Uh, I'm actually looking. If you look in my uh, the mirror that I have up, the grab bar that's on the side of the truck is not attached to the fucking truck. What the hell? That tells me that I th it might the body might just be a little narrow. That's actually accurate. Holy shit. Alright, and it looks like that mirror, these mirrors suffer from, uh, the, this itis where you have to look at them a certain way or they won't work. Since that one's kind of blocked by the GPS unit, I'm going to worry more about this one. Plus, I have the, uh, inside mirror, the exterior mirror up anyway, so I don't really need to worry about it. Uh, so now actually we're reading slow. I'm doing 55 speed limit, and it's indicating lesser, so interesting indeed. Oh. Asshole. Actually, I'm going to want to leave that in 7 low. I mean, other than that, the, the truck's not bad. You ha The biggest problem I have with the truck is not the speedometers being accurate. It's not the mirrors being glitchy. It's actually the fact that if you look back here, this thing appears to be a sleeper, but it's a day cab. That, or, that bothers me. And it maybe it's me being a little OCD or something. I don't fucking know. I mean, it is what it is. And yes, I've actually noticed the little trio of Jesus is there. Like, the, well, okay, one looks, one is Jesus. It looks like the, it's the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost type of thing. Fine. So what? I don't give a shit. That's actually kind of, if you're, if you like that shit, cool. There you go. Um. <coughs> yeah. Anyway. Um. I don't have a whole lot to talk about this truck. I really don't. Because 
it's an eh truck. I, w I don't recommend it. I'll, this is going to be one of the ones that I'll end up trading it for the next truck. Because with this truck, I also downloaded the Kenworth 521. And I'm actually very excited to do a review on that truck. So, I actually, I don't know if I'm going to review it right after this one. I usually don't review multiple, do multiple things in the same day. Like, I don't do multiple tough car challenges recording. I don't do multiple reviews. Only because it seems like the second one doesn't sound as good as the first. <laughs> so... But that's my opinion, and I have no clue what they're going on about. Ooh, shit. Hmm. Steep grit. Oh, shit. I'm going to start slowing down now. Turn that off. Actually, I need to stay over here. Come on, baby, slow down. There we go. Doing good, making some good time. This truck, I can tolerate it. This would be a truck that it's not bad. I mean, now granted, I spent about one hundred and thirty thousand in game dollars on this truck. Uh, uh, I'd rather get like the FLB Freightliner or something. Get something else. Uh, if you like the international trucks and you have to have an international, go with the ninety three hundred. You will like that truck a lot better than this. Now, if you like the modern internationals, then you know what? Go for it. Have at it. Enjoy. You know. I'm not going to, if you're that adamant on having a more, a more modern international, then here you go. You got this truck. I personally don't like it that much, but it is, it is an earlier, it's like a, like a version one build. So it has a lot of room to improve and I hope it does. So there's some glitches on it that need to be addressed. Uh, I will more than likely pro provide the link in the description, but, uh. I will say that the comments that I was seeing that there were problems getting this thing to install. I literally unzipped it. Uh, there's like, it's zipped twice. Unzip it. You find the second zipped folder. You unzip that and then you will copy and paste that into your uh, mods folder for American Truck Simulator and the doc documents American Truck Simulator. That's how you get this thing installed. I might have missed it by doing that. That might explain why there's like a texture missing on the fifth wheel. That it might explain some of the weird shit going on with this thing. Fucking asshole in a Lincoln. Douchebag. Eat my high beams. Oh, you're slowing down too. Really? Oh, fuck. Oh, you fucker. There we go. God, have I told you guys that I do... Oh, shit. <clears throat> I really do like some of the mo the modifications they've done to this map redo. Because, God, that is gorgeous. Fucking gorgeous. I love it. Amazing. Uh, but I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, you guys are going to notice... That there was a video this morning. I'm not going to lie. I was recording some with my buddy Eric. 
uh, we were recording some space engineer shit, and it is going to be fucking epic. We take two ships. Why well, bloop one in from the workshop? He modifies a ship that he had, and we pretty much just lay waste into each other. It was a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, I will not give up any spoilers. Spoilers, simply because you need to w watch that when that video comes out, which will either be later this week or over the weekend watch it i'm telling you guys i know space engineers videos are eh do me a favor and watch this one it is epic it is hilarious uh eric pulls a couple rabbits out of his hats because i'm not gonna lie he's outgunned it's david versus goliath but will goliath win or will david win type of deal it is epic uh but actually, coming back to this, because I just remembered something that I'm contemplating doing. So I'm right now contemplating... Well, actually, two things. Two things. One, I'm actually in the process, uh, and I say process, I'm on eBay e browsing, looking for some sort of uh, decent... I say cheap, but decent uh, cam uh, video camera so I could do some vlogging, because uh, I would like to do some of that some of you guys have asked me questions about the car I drive, asked me some other stuff, as well as, like, for when I do shit out and about, like, uh, James, Computer Skid, uh, Cody, Jeep Love 76. Ah, oh, god damn it! Where was he? Anyway, the, he, the end of, uh, next month, they're coming up from where they live. Uh, James lives down near Kentucky, and Cody out in the south that we're all three of us going to go to the Cleveland Auto Show one of the days that's going to be a fuckload of fun and I am plan I would like if I can if I find a camera that I like in time I'm going to vlog I'm going to most likely try to record as much of it as I can from us just talking about the cars to uh they do ride and drive so maybe uh, one of us uh, recording while the other drives the car, that sort of deal. Because I, I feel that would be hilarious. That'd be interesting. And this does have some custom sounds to it, because that was very interesting. Uh, that would be a whole lot of fun. Uh, plus, to add some immersion, not only to American Truck Simulator... But also, well, American and Euro Truck Simulator, but to some of the other games that I do play, I am looking at, and I need a, there we go. I am actually looking at picking up a Track IR. Again, looking on eBay because I'm broke. <laughs> I, am a, I'm a poor, I am poor. Well, yeah, I'm not, money-wise, I'm not very well off, so... If I want to do anything gaming-wise, I have to... It's pretty much either has to be on sale or I have to get it off of eBay. So... Uh... But, yeah. That's a couple of very exciting things coming up. Holy shit. Um... Stuff that I'm actually extremely excited for. So, we shall see. I've tried to do vlogs in the past when I've done shit. And they never turned out well because it's like I'm trying to record it on my phone and all this shit. So, all right, where is this trailer supposed to be? All right, right there. Hazards on. Beep twice for safety. Low, low, reverse. There you go. I got it. <laughs> ha! 
How about that? First try. Alrighty, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, dump this trailer, then I will move out over there and we will give this thing a complete walk around. So, off to it. Okay, so I moved the truck out. And actually, in the light, this thing look, the, the paint on this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. Exterior-wise, this is a very nice-looking truck. I mean, very nice indeed. Uh, let's go ahead and hit, hit our parking lights. Turn the truck to on. There's our headlights. And there's our high beams. So, all the, those work. Uh, blinkers. Again, they don't really glow or anything. They just light up in quotes uh back here you can see the brake lights work um uh, tail lights blinkers and also this hold on am i seeing oh okay it's kind of glowing through the vehicle okay i can deal with that um all right let's go ahead pop inside you already see that it looks cool, don't get me wrong, but seriously, this is a day cab. Uh, honestly, there is... What you guys saw is pretty much it. I mean, we got the parking brake right there. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And you kind of got some beeps. Beeps and boops and all that. Ah, there's freight... Look at right there. There's Freightliner... Uh, Mats in this, which kind of tells me this was obviously based on the Freightliner. The the gauges kind of look like they were out of a Freightliner. Uh, I still do like the fact that if you do hit the high beams, the 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 a, at least a switch moves for it. That means some thought was put into this, but it still is really let down by the fact there's no indicators outside of that blinker. So. that and when you turn it off the parking brake goes away that needs to be kind of uh static but that is the review of our international pro star day cab it's not the worst out there trust me it's not the worst it's not bad i am being a little hard on this but there's potential this if the creator spends more time on this truck and puts work into it this truck could be pretty badass. So this truck, when I see more improvements on, I definitely will be uh, revisiting. So, but how until then, that is all we have time for in this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, all that good fun shit. Until next time, guys, have a good one.